Today, it's coral cutting time. And in my right hand corner, we have the Griffin Diamond Bandsaw. And in my left hand corner, we have the Inland Diamond Bandsaw. And we're gonna see if they have what it takes to cut coral. Okay, here we have both saws side by side. I've been working with these for quite some time now. And when I was a beginner and a hobbyist, this saw was perfect for me. The Inland does everything you need it to do. It's efficient and it's affordable. The Griffin on the other hand is a bigger, more powerful saw with some more features and options that you don't find with the Inland. I guess I'll start off with the motor. The Inland, you will see here, the motor's on the back. It turns on and off with this little switch and has a speed variable adjustment for the motor. I don't ever use it, this speed variable to me, I always said if I want speed it was more of a nuisance than a benefit. But for some people you might find that beneficial depending on the type of coil you're cutting. The Griffin, the nice thing is the blade, the motor pivots. So the weight of the motor, not only is it away from the water and it can't get wet, as with the inland, it's dripping. You know, you're, the whole time the table's getting wet and it's dripping on the motor. The griffin, the blade, and the motor up top, the whole fixture is well, more well protected. And like I said, the weight of the motor is pulling down the blade to keep it tight. So that is a nice feature. Since they're both wet saws, the water in the inland is contained in the back behind the pulley. And there's an adjustment screw here to adjust the flow to how fast it falls down on the blade. Now, the inland will collect some water inside and you can put a little hose here to a bucket or something that will allow you to drain all the the dirty salt water, I guess, with all the shavings of the ground up coral out through the tube. I don't really find this very effective and it's very messy in the process. And like I said, the water tends to be dripping all over. But if you're not cutting a lot of coral, it's pretty easy to clean up. On the other hand, if you're cutting a lot of coral, the water's contained right underneath the Griffin's table and it has holes all in the table. <coughs> slides right out, it's easy to clean off. It's amazing, I find this feature one of my favorites. And then the water that drips back off the table goes right back into your reservoir where it can be used again. So less mess and it recycles better. And there's a spout in the end for pouring in water and for pouring it out. And there's two little sponges to clean the blade to keep off debris from getting caught in your pulleys. And they're replaceable, which is easy. You could just take a regular dish sponge and cut it up into the size and then put it in there and there's also one behind the blade on this side too which is very nice <clears throat> I'll show you that tray slides right back on Now the tray on the inland doesn't slide off that easy. It's bolted on with nylon screws. They do let you remove the door very easily, which is nice. So you can try to clean it as best you can, but I try not to get water in the motor. So it's kind of hard to take this apart and clean it each after each use. As you can see, I'm really clean and I clean all my tools and equipment and it forms like a paste. Because the blade's not being cleaned off, you get this almost cement residue inside. And it's hard to keep clean. But like I said, average weekend hobbyist is perfect. I just started cutting a ton of coral and tried to use a little salt. It's not the right equipment for the job. That was just wrong of me. So I'm gonna retire this saw and I moved on to the Griffin. Good morning, Reefless. Eat you. Sorry, 
That guy was crazy. He had it coming. So if I talk a little bit more about uh, Griffin versus the Inland, this would be a half hour long show. So I put some more specific details in another video and you can check into either saw depending on what you're more interested in. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, happy reefing.